As soon as I've picked up Critter, I'm out of here. Perhaps we'll fly to... Ah, whatever. We're free. We can fly to wherever we want. As soon as I've picked up Critter, I'm out of here. Perhaps we'll fly to... Ah, whatever. We're free. We can fly to wherever we want. A Mary was damaged recently, and I want to repair her. When I say recently, I mean about two years ago. But in my defense, I had to save the world in the meantime. I'll start the repairs tomorrow. But what can you do if there's a better use for the plank? Ivo's hippogriff doesn't seem very happy. Perhaps she's missing her rider. Or she's just hungry. Or both. Go over into the garden. There are plants and fruit there if you're hungry. Don't fancy greens, huh? Go over into the garden. There are plants and fruit there if you're hungry. Don't fancy greens, huh? The Elf Borough is one of the most beautiful spots imaginable. But a golden prison is still a prison. The Elf Borough is one of the most beautiful spots imaginable. But a golden prison is still a prison. The last time I used this thing, I blew a bounty hunter out of the sky. Nonetheless, Critter and I prefer to avoid a fight if we can and rely on our brains and good looks. When the Mary belonged to the Red Pirate, he didn't just use her for pleasure trips. They did some work now and again, as this cage proves. Some gnome engineers wanted to fine-tune Mary in appreciation of our victory against Mortroga. But Mary doesn't like gadgets, and I'm happy with her the way she is. The Mary tried to teach me some knots. I think she likes passing on her knowledge to me. She said she'll try and teach pigs to fly next. Critter, what have you done now? Mama look evil. Ivo's mother? Oh. Come on, let's get you out of there first. <coughs> all right, all right. Darn elven magic. <coughs> yes, I'll get help. Wait here. <coughs> Damn elven magic. Hey, Critter, can't you somehow slip out of there? You can usually squeeze through most gaps. The thorns, I see. There's got to be a way. All right, all right. It was worth a try. Critter attacked this beehive one night. He claims to this day that it was the sweetest triumph of his life. But it was three days before the swelling from the bee stings went down. I've never been very interested in plants, but there are things in this garden I've never seen anywhere else. Those two plants there, for example, it looks as though they're strangling one another. No trace of Arbor, but he left this ball of string lying here. Perhaps he was going to tie up bushes with it or something. Eh, Shorty won't mind, I think. That's strange. When I was here last, that tree looked a lot happier. We waited for ages until Ivo's mother finally left the palace. 
Then it was pool time. Critter and me cannonballed in from the balcony. Ivo was torn between outrage and laughter. People say the water has a healing effect. Perhaps I should take one or two barrels of it with me and sell it. We waited for ages until Ivo's mother finally left the palace. Then it was pool time. Critter and me cannonballed in from the balcony. Ivo was torn between outrage and laughter. At school, I had a teacher who hit us across the fingers with something like that when we were naughty. I stayed the full two weeks nonetheless. Education is the key to success. to be careful. If the queen catches me, there'll be no leniency. I couldn't allow him to propose to you. What sort of life would you have? You'd have lost him so soon, maybe just 50 years after marrying him. Or were you planning to go into the world with him and get old just like him? That would be terrible, and I told him as much. If one truly loves someone, then it's sometimes better to let them go. You know that I can be very convincing. The human spirit is weak. And perhaps there was a tiny bit of magic involved too. If only I'd known that it was already too late. That darn witch! It all sounded so... right! I was already across the sea when it became clear to me that I might have made the biggest mistake of my life. No wonder Ivo hates me. Her mother must never have told her what happened, or she blamed me for everything. What I'd really like to do is go up there, give the old Buddha a slap round the face and get Ivo out of this place. But Ivo's mother is a powerful priestess. She's probably got a dozen ways she could incapacitate me without me even noticing. I have to be careful. Maybe I can lure the queen onto the balcony, grab Ivo and... <sighs> no, where would we go? Why did she suddenly put Ivo to sleep? Did Ivo keep the fact that she's pregnant secret even from her parents? Could that even be the reason that she left Elfboro? It looks like she's asleep. But I don't think I could wake her, even without her mother there. Cheep Cheep, Ivo's bird. We don't get along. He's a puffed up rooster. <laughs> and he says the same of me. Ivo's mirror. When I was here, her fat bird sat in front of it most of the time. Critter claims he doesn't know Ollie, but the family resemblance can't be denied. During my time here, I sat in this library many times enjoying a good book. Not. I've only had dealings with a dragon once. The dear thing wasn't really all there, and completely harmless.
I nearly got arrested once because of a flower like that. I didn't know why they're forbidden almost everywhere. Until I heard someone playing one for the first time. According to Ivo, these are swords belonging to some of those who have tried to conquer the Woodland Realm. Nowadays, everyone knows it's better not to pick a fight with elves. The king and queen keep gifts given to them by delegations from far-off lands in this room. Some of them are rather... bizarre. Bob is still sitting where I left him months ago. Of course, he's not really called Bob, but his elven name is too complicated and long to remember. And he likes Bob. Hey, Bob. Uh, Nate, my boy. What are you doing here? I rescued Ivo from Tugator, the flying pirate island, and brought her back here, more or less. Oh, so you're getting on well again. It's too late for that. Trust me. It is never too late for that. Trust me. Your wife has hexed Ivo, an imprisoned critter. I'll free both of them and I'll... I would counsel you to patience, my impetuous friend. What has happened? The Queen found Ivo in the garden. She's pregnant, did you know that? I hope that you are speaking of Ivo and not my wife. <laughs> of course I knew. She's put Ivo into a kind of deep sleep. Theodora knows why his decisions take time. It isn't a simple sleep. It's a kind of uh, timeout. For Ivo, time is standing still until her mother brings her back. And when will that be? As soon as she knows how she's going to deal with the situation. Mm, that could take months or even years. Years? She's got no right to do that. We have to bring Ivo back. Just like the polecat butters the bread of the barn owl. How can we wake Ivo up? Without the help of her mother? Impossible. Then we'll have to force her. She can't keep Ivo imprisoned against her will. You won't have any luck. Fiora will defend her daughter. She thinks she's doing the right thing. But... If you can make her see that she was not acting in Ivo's best interests, then I'm sure she would let her go. I... I should talk to her? Oh, <laughs> you'd be dead before you'd stuttered out your first sentence. Hey! I eavesdropped on the Queen. She never told Ivo what happened, right? What happened? You just disappeared one night. It was all your wife's fault. She hexed me. I was going to propose to Ivo. The queen intercepted me and whispered something in my ear. Her words would have just washed over you had they not found something which they were able to catch hold of. I... I thought long and hard about whether I should propose to Ivo. I loved her, but I also loved my freedom. Gods and the wise call that getting cold feet. So she could manipulate me because of my feet? She magnified your doubts and let you lose sight of what was really important. Your love for Ivo. But I didn't want her to have to watch me die. 
And I certainly didn't want her to come with me out into the world and grow old and die herself. Would it have not been up to my daughter what sacrifices she would be willing to make for you? She is, after all, the more intelligent one. After I left the Elfborough, my head still told me I'd done the right thing. I wouldn't condemn Ivo to a life with me, and a goodbye would have been too painful for both of us. But your heart told you that you were a fool. Later I thought I'd found a solution. I'd find a way to live forever, then I could marry Ivo and we'd never be separated. Your heart was right. You are a fool. Well... Archmage Alistair has been turned into a frog. By a certain Van Buren, some little brat who's running through Seastone and transforming everything. A little girl transformed the Archmage? Yes. No idea how she managed it. Ivo said something about Wilbur's wand. And he's in the dark woods looking for a book that explains how it can be destroyed. In the meantime, Ivo wanted to organize a few things needed to bring the Archmage back. What sort of things? Some book from Laura Ipsum. The Book of the Dead? Yep, that was the one. Then we need a compass that belongs to the Red Pirate, and something called the Spark of Life. That's why she came back here. I see. It's crucial we turn Alistair back quickly. He might have answers. Answers? To which questions? Something is stirring. A great evil. I have felt it for a while now. The little brat with a wand? No. Something older, greater, and a great danger for you, for Ivo, for everyone. That doesn't sound good. But I wouldn't even know where to start. Ivo didn't tell me very much. Or perhaps I didn't listen. I have the spark of life here. I will give it to my daughter as soon as she wakes. I can't help you with the compass, though, but I saw the lost city of Lorem Ipsum with my own eyes all oh, long, long ago. If I were to look for Lorem Ipsum, where would I find the ruins of the city? Under the sands of the Umzu Desert. Oh, really? Could you be a bit more precise? The desert's pretty big. I can't remember the exact location. I set out from the Bremen Oasis, went into the desert, and just followed my nose. After a few days, I saw the golden roofs of the town glinting in the sun as it set behind them. Hmm. So Lorem Ipsen is west of Bremen. But how far into the desert... How many days did you walk, and how quickly? It was three and a half thousand years ago. What did you do last Thursday? Uh, west of Bremen. That's a start. Ivo seems to have coped well with me leaving her. Seems to have been in a rush to find herself an elven prince. No, she didn't take it well. She was hurt and disappointed. And no, she didn't throw herself around the neck of any elf prince. I... I don't even want to know. I'd always loved her, but it seemed to have been quite one-sided. Your wife trapped Critter in the garden. Some thorny tendrils grew out of the ground, imprisoning him. Oh, an old trick that all priests have up their sleeves. So novices couldn't sneak out of rituals early, eh? <laughs> but the tendrils are very ticklish, especially under the arms. They... Uh, uh... All right, then. Take care, Bob. I'll see what I can do to help Ivo and Alistair, or if I can. I see a man with a mission of great importance that he would like to complete. Like? All that work? All that danger? The stress? You've got the same attitudes towards stress as I have. I can see through you, Nate. You made your decision long ago, 
You just haven't realized it. To do good, be part of something bigger, help others. We all need goals in our lives, and the greater the goal, the greater the reward. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, old man. <laughs>